are learning new details about the raid to take out Osama bin Laden, and they paint a very dramatic picture of the secret operation. Really amazing. Today, the White House says bin Laden was not armed during the raid by Navy SEALs. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney acknowledged earlier reports that bin Laden resisted during the raid, but said resistance does not require a firearm. We also know tonight the target was nicknamed Geronimo and was killed by a precise gunshot above the left eye. The resulting wound has the White House debating the release of any death pictures of Osama bin Laden. The most graphic of the pictures is reportedly also the one that best identifies him as the most hated man in the world. Despite the on-site verification that bin Laden had indeed been killed, the feds also conducted a DNA test on the body. Investigators reportedly used DNA from bin Laden's deceased sister to make the match. NBC 5's Susie Solis is live in Fort Worth with more on that process. Susie, tell us about it. Well, Jane, DNA ana analysis is obviously the gold standard in identification, and experts here at the Institute of Investigative Genetics say a DNA analysis could have been completed within a couple of hours. He's one of the most notorious terrorist figures in the world, and U.S. officials wanted positive proof it was Osama bin Laden U.S. Navy SEALs had finally killed. Relatives do look like individuals, and we've had cases in the past where other uh, people of interest or most wanted individuals have put in doubles and such. A woman believed to be one of his wives and members of the U.S. raid squad identified him through facial recognition. But it was a confirmation with DNA testing that made it official. Because no one really knows how it was done because that has yet to be disclosed. But there are some fairly standard ways to do this. Dr. Bruce Budoli, a former FBI scientist, says DNA samples could have been taken from the man believed to be bin Laden and from bin Laden's family members. Well, they can take just about any kind of uh, sample there, but most likely they either took blood or they went in and they scraped the inside of his cheek and got what's known as buccal cells, which are the epithelial cells inside there. They all have good amounts of DNA and they would be very uh, easy sources and very high quality sources for obtaining a DNA profile. If you have multiple relatives, then the evidence become very strong. Budoli says a nearby laboratory could have performed the analysis. And there also are uh, certain um, technologies that are somewhat mobile and could be brought to the site. And if they had br had that sense of um, foresight and had uh, brought the, the technology with them, it could have been done very rapidly. And how the DNA samples were obtained and from whom has yet to be released, and those are questions that may never be answered. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Susie Solis, NBC5. Interesting. Thanks, Susie.